Hey, it's Lily. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we'll be unboxing my first ever ink swap. I'm so excited. Let's get into it. Here is the box. I don't know if she's okay with me saying her name, so I'm going to refer to her as T. Thank you so much, T. I'm so excited. And this is future me talking, but I did film it. So here I am opening it up super exciting look at the little files and she also wrote down all the names of the inks that she's giving me so i'm opening that up it is on clarifontaine paper 90 gsm and it is written in a lovely green color and here is some tea she's asking if i like drinking tea i do i love it she gave me chamomile with vanilla and honey which i will be drinking soon and here in this pouch we have some colorverse goodies i'm intrigued as i opened this i was like oh what is this thing it says it's a pen stand which you will see me trying to make into a pen stand in a little bit but here are a couple colorverse napkins which is really cool i wonder where she got these from maybe like a product launch or something not sure here are some stickers they look very cute look at that cat there <laughs> and one of the inks she gave me was actually like i think that one i can't say it scorchinger so scorchinger's cat and here's me trying to make the pen holder. I don't know how to do it. So you'll see me awkwardly trying to put a pen on here later. But if you know how to use it, please let me know. It'd be cool to use it. I'm still struggling. <laughs> there was like a thing where you had to put it through there. I've successfully done it, but I'm still not sure. The pen fell off there. Um, but yeah, I currently have it in my knickknacks box to the side here where i put like my pens and stuff so i'm hoping to figure it out soon here is a bookmark from colorverse very cute i'll be using this in one of the books i'm reading and here's a letter for privacy reasons and not to show um, their name i'm not going to show you the letter but there were a couple pages there you'll see in a little bit oh here they are of um her currently inks so t did some swatches wrote down which pens she had it was just so fun this is tome river paper and i've never touched this paper before so i was like wow you know it really does look like it lives up to the hype it's so thin but you can write on both sides and you can see the lovely properties of the inks as well which is so amazing so exciting thank you for sharing that with me t and here i am opening up this i actually had to speed the video up because it was you know a little bit longer <laughs> so i was like reading them things like that but here we are with the swatching first up we have robert oster green at night and i really like this ink it is totally up my alley it is this dark saturated green and the name is very much well suited so i decided i'd do like on the right hand side some um lines <laughs> so yeah you'll see for the next two i kind of forget and then i remember again but yeah i'm using a glass dip pen i purchased off aliexpress and this is my midori grid paper and yeah beautiful color i really really do like this and can't wait to use it next up we have another green this is van diemen's exclusive ink for flywheel tasmania it is type cabinet green oh my gosh i remember when i saw this on the van diemen's website and i was like oh man you know there's so many exclusive inks and i don't know they always have some kind of collaboration going on and they had three inks for flywheel this was one of them they had a red one and a gray one as well um, but of course green's my favorite color and i'm so excited to be able to try this 
thank you so much T. These two inks look very similar so I guess if you can't get your hands on an exclusive maybe The Green at Night by Robert Oster is a little bit easier to procure? I'm not sure but they both look really nice. I think Green at Night has a little bit more shading. So here I am showing you how I was storing it. <laughs> so it's an old um, business card holder and they fit all eight. Not very well but they do fit. And here is Colorverse Scrogenger. Oh my gosh, I can't say it. Please correct me. <laughs> um, this is the season three and it's just this really beautiful Patrick's Day green kind of color. Really lovely and you can see how there's like the ink pooling there as well. So I think this one might have a bit of shading. Well more shading than the other two but it is really hard to see like with a glass dip pen I think. So yeah there might be some shading with the other two maybe more so green at night than the type cabinet green but this one I think there is some shading going on there um, with the ink pool but yeah a really nice fun green it's bright but not too bright but yeah so first three are green and next up we have a couple teals or turquoises I don't know what the difference is I remember seeing in some other people's videos them explaining the difference and I think like two seconds later I forgot <laughs> um, but yes we will see a couple lovely greeny tealy turquoise colors coming up um, yes so this is Warringal Wayfarer Soki oh, Sosuki I can't say this Sosuki Natsumi um, yeah <laughs> so here is the little ink swatch and it has glitter in it which is really lovely and you can't see here but on the dry down there is some sheen as well so some bright red sheen so I think this one has shading and sheen and glitter which is a lot there's a lot going on for this one it looks great and pretty unique um, I don't really have any inks that look like this or the next one besides I think like the new um, sample I got which was in my other video which was Diamine's Marine but even that is a lot a lot lighter than this one and the next one coming up as well but yeah this is great beautiful and yeah me trying to fix that because I had to google it I was like what is this is it an E? <laughs> um, it is an E. Um, and this one is Van Diemen's Devil's Kitchen in Wilderness. Oh wait, no, it's a Wilderness series. And this one, very similar to the Warringal one, it has that bright red sheen in it as well. So this one I have inked up for May. My May currently inked video will be coming up soon, so I will do a voiceover of that and put that up later on but yeah I do really enjoy this one and it really spoke to me because I was like this is so different I don't have anything like this and yeah it's beautiful and yeah doing the little love heart thing there as well and the little vial next up we have Herbin is that how you say it? Ambre de Brumani. So this is a beautiful mustard yellow. I don't have any yellows or mustard yellows. Um, well, I guess I have Robert Oster's $10 gold, which is kind of a yellow, but I thought it was more of a brown. I don't know. Um, but this is like actually yellow, yellow, I think such a beautiful color it looks like something that would be perfect for autumn and yeah stunning I think this would look really great in like a medium nib um, I don't know how it would go in a fine just because I want it to be legible but yeah inks definitely do surprise me so you know I might try it in a fine uh, next up we have Lamy blue black I've never tried this ink before so 
this is exciting it definitely does look a bit more black than blue i think so yeah like it's a kind of muted kind of color looks saturated i ran out of space so i had to make the square into a rectangle <laughs> at the end here because i was just winging it i didn't really count um but i think it worked out fine yeah what a lovely color and that's me trying to do the little love heart there i'm trying to think if i've ever used a lamy ink i don't think so is this my first lamy ink maybe maybe um and last but definitely not least this is sailor shikiori in okiyama and it is be this beautiful red color there's some sheen on the dry down and like i don't know the sheen is a bit golden golden green i think but yeah it looks beautiful i love it i've been into reds recently like the darker reds though um and this is stunning so exciting i can't wait to use this and the other inks but i'm really trying to control myself and not have all my pens inked up <laughs> which is a problem um because i do want to have all my pens inked up <laughs> but yeah what a stunning color palette there i feel so blessed i'm so happy thank you so much t for reaching out and doing this ink swap with me i will be finalizing your parcel soon and be posting that off but yeah so exciting here is an overview again and you can see how they look on the page so the paper the note paper in this notebook is actually not white it's like a an ivory kind of color but i still think you can see the inks um and the ink colors pretty well so yeah thanks so much for watching do you have a favorite out of the inks here let me know i'm trying this new swatching thing which i think you can see more of the inks <laughs> but yeah i will see you in the next video bye